Hey, hey Propel Jr., good morning. We're so excited that you are here today. We are so pumped for this brand new series. It's called Walking Shoes. We're going to be talking about what it's like to walk in the place of Jesus. We're going to be talking about what it's like to serve Jesus with all our heart and for Him to order the steps that we take. We hope that you enjoy today. trunk without even knowing what was inside. My dad found this key that might work. Should we see if it works? Okay, we'll all say one, two, three, open please. Ready? One, two, three, open please. Worked. Now we have to open the lid. Everyone do a drum roll on your legs like this. 
we go. Wow. Take a look. Shoes. There are all kinds of shoes. There are cowboy boots. Giddy up. Ooh, tap shoes. There are even shoes to wear before bed. I wonder what other kind of shoes are in here. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Finding some new shoes, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I think there are enough different shoes in this trunk for everyone. Everyone? That may be true. I know something else about everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I got back a little late from my fishing trip, so I didn't have time to change my shoes before I had to deliver the mail. These are my super big fishing boots. Aren't they awesome? They keep my feet dry if I need to step in the water. Have you ever been fishing? It's really fun. And actually, I have a true story about Jesus and some fishermen. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with two fishermen named Peter and Andrew. They used a big net when they went fishing. Let's pretend we're fishermen and throw out a net. Ready, set, Throw! Once the net's in the water, you wait for the fish. <gasps> Look, we've got fish. Oh, oh, and more fish. And more fish. It's time to pull up our net. Let's pretend to pull up our net. Ready, set, pull! 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 One more time. We did it. We went fishing, just like the fishermen did. So Peter and Andrew were fishermen, and they fished every day. Well, one day, Jesus came walking by. They knew who Jesus was. They knew he was special and was an amazing teacher. Jesus looked at them and said, come follow me. Wow, Jesus, God's son, wanted to be friends with the fishermen. He wanted them to follow him. Andrew and Peter were so excited that they left their nets and followed Jesus right away. Then Jesus saw two more fishermen named James and John in a boat fishing with their dad. Jesus said to them, come, follow me. Jesus wanted to be friends with them too. They were so happy. They got out of their boat and followed Jesus. These four fishermen, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, followed Jesus and became some of his really good friends called disciples. Do you know what the best part is? Jesus wants to be friends with you too. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. We can all follow him. That's amazing. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wants everyone to follow him, including me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told lots of people to follow him. He wants to be friends with everyone always. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I wonder what other kind of shoes I can find. These are fun. Bye, see you next time. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19.